Hi there, I'm Mark Costner from Dreamweaver Made Simple. Today, I'm going to show you how you can download an existing website using Dreamweaver. Now, there are a couple of reasons that you may want to do this. You may have lost your website files on your computer, or perhaps you had to reformat your drive, and you no longer have access to your original website files. Don't worry. It's really simple to re-download those files and get your whole website back in four simple steps. Let's run through those steps firstly. The first thing you'll need to do, if you've, for example, formatted your hard drive, is to reload Dreamweaver. Once you've reloaded Dreamweaver, you'll need to go through the process of setting up a new site. We show you how to do that in detail in all the Dreamweaver Made Simple tutorials. Next, you'll need to select the website in case you've got more than one website loaded. And finally, you simply download the site back to your computer. So let's take a look at how we actually do that using Dreamweaver. So once you open Dreamweaver, you'll need to click on the Site menu option. Then click on New Site. Now we won't go through that section right now because you'll find that in all of the Dreamweaver Made Simple tutorials which you can find over at dreamweavermadesimple.com. Once you have set up a new site, the next step is to select the site from the drop-down list in the Files pane. You may have more than one website loaded on your computer. So in this case, click on the drop-down menu and select the website that you want. You'll notice that the folder is completely empty because you don't have the files on your computer. The next step is really simple. Simply click on this green Get button right here. This button allows you to download your website as long as you've already uploaded it to a web server sometime in the past. Let's do that now. We click on the button and Dreamweaver asks us if we want to get the entire site. We click on OK at this stage. And Dreamweaver will begin downloading all the files from the web server to our local computer. This way, you don't need to rebuild your entire site again. You're simply downloading the live site from your web server to your local computer, which you can then begin to edit and change and re-upload in the future. This can take a few minutes, so we'll just pause the video and get back to it once it's finished downloading. Once Dreamweaver has finished downloading all the files, you'll be able to see them all in the Files pane right here. Simply click on one of your files to open it, and as you can see, you have your whole website back. So if you're serious about getting a website built right now, then don't waste countless days or even weeks searching for obscure little tutorials on the internet. Visit dreamweavermadesimple.com for a full step-by-step -step tutorial showing you how to build your website from start to finish. Hope you enjoyed that short and simple tutorial. I'm Mark Hosner. See you over at dreamweavermadesimple.com.